James here for my November 2020 Kimberley IT Founders Log update. November's been a pretty quiet month for us, we sort of expected it, especially with the lockdown coming into place over the last four weeks. Um, probably won't pick up until January now because we're now entering December and everyone's getting ready for what they can do at Christmas and doing all those arrangements and stuff like that. Um, sometimes we get a new co uh, client come on board in December, um, which is a nice Christmas present. But uh, I don't think we're gonna. Ha I don't think that's gonna happen today. We've got some conversations going on, but I don't think this coming December any of those clients will will convert at the moment. I think a lot of it's gonna take place in January, February, especially as we find start to find out what's happening with the vaccines and if they're gonna become available. And that's gonna put people into a more positive mood, more looking outwards, seeing what they can do in the future, and more willing to move their IT systems over from legacy stuff to Google Workspace by Kimberly IT and all the sub IT support that we include in that package. At the start of the month, we had a fantastic podcast. Our guest was Kevin Verdi of Onyx Networking Group. So Onyx is a big, big Google partner over in the US. And they were responsible for bringing Whirlpool, Whirlpool, the guys that make your washing machines and all that kind of stuff, from a legacy systems over to Google Workspace. At the time, it was when it was called uh, G Suite. But they've been there for quite a few years now, Whirlpool. And Kevin Ver Verdi was very instrumental in getting this move across. He was part of the project management team that did that. So it's really worth listening to that episode, especially if your business is thinking about moving to Google Workspace and you want to know a bit more about it and you want to see how the big boys, the big enterprises use it. And then you can see how, how easily it will be for a smaller business to adapt and use it and learn and grow and get better with technology. You may remember when we spoke about COVID previously that we were doing a Wi-Fi networking store for one of our clients down in Kent, Kit Big Care Home Company. That finally went through. We were finally able to complete that uh, installation. It had been cancelled previously because one of the networking team had been rung up by NHS Track and Trace in that they'd been in an area where COVID had been. They'd been close to somebody who'd got COVID and they were advised to go back. So they had to self-isolate for 14 days. But finally, we got the installation go through. Uh, there was one hiccup, though. The people that we buy the Unify um, devices, the Wi-Fi access points that are bought up on the walls, they only sent half the order. So we didn't know that because the we weren't able to go on site to check the order because of COVID and they're in a, they're in nursing homes, so they're locked down. So it wasn't until uh, the installation started that we actually got a call from the network team, installation team saying, hey, not all the devices are here. So the, the company actually that sent it out did an amazing job and got a new uh, the remaining batch sent out. They would actually they actually check their CCTV in their warehouse to see if all the packages had been loaded onto the van that was going to be delivering stuff. And they spotted that half the packages had been missed. So half had been put on the van and whoever was le loading the van just got distracted or whatever and didn't put the remaining half on. So it's quite impressive that they went into the CCTV to check that and make sure it was all correct, just to make sure if it was them that had lost it or the delivery company that had lost it. They spotted it. Um, they uh, got all the devices sent out to her, to um, the, the, the home a day later. And luckily we were able to get them all installed in time for the network to go live. And that network has been absolutely superb. It's just worked beautifully. So much so the MDs walked around and he doesn't know how it's working because the cabling is so invisible how it's been installed. He can't, he can't even spot the cabling. It's just an absolutely fantastic installation that's taken place there. And it's working wonderfully. I think you can see my, my daughter's little desk in the background she uh she was um they had they had a, a an outbreak of covid about maybe two months ago now and she decided to move into my office to do her work and her desk is still there with her little drawing pad on it and uh so she's she's getting t trained up anyway i guess to become the new md of kimberley it if i ever retire which i don't think is ever going to happen but we'll see but uh yeah all the practice is taking place for right now and that's pretty much what's happened in November. Um, we've got a podcast that's coming out tomorrow, so that's actually going to be the 1st of December. Uh, but subscribe and follow, find us on YouTube and subscribe to our channel on YouTube where I host these videos. And hopefully you'll like them. And don't forget to leave some comments if there's anything you want us to talk about or want me to talk about in these videos or if there's any other information you'd like to find out. Um, if you follow me on LinkedIn, you'll see all the statistics of what we've been up to, how, how people have contacted us, how many support requests we've had, how quickly we respond to them, all that kind of stuff. I do a monthly post on LinkedIn about that. Also on my also on Twitter, which is Jimbo Kimbo on Twitter. But that's our month and we'll speak to you next month at the end of December. Um, I suspect it'll be kind of a quiet, uh, quiet one, but we'll find out.